second race, second Gold Series elimination of the Ontario Sire Stakes. And they're off and trotting. Grand Sovereign is on a break. The favorite was off stride, leaving out of there. Crescent Hall was off stride when trying to leave alertly. And it's thrown wide open now. Eden Meadow Clyde just strides out as he pleases to the lead. King's Ransom is now going to be set in gear and look to gun to the top. Royal Kent points forward from the outside. Armbro Believe tucked up in fourth early on. Ahead of Disturbed and Colom Dream. And then it's back to Crescent Hall. Grand Sovereign has landed back down trotting and is trying desperately to catch the field. Sweeping up on the outside is Royal Kent and Luke will to cut the corner and make front 30 seconds even the opener Royal Kent takes over and opens a pair into the Mohawk backstretch Kings Ransom will trot to smartly along in second on the way to the half Eden Meadow Clyde tagging along from third and Armbro Believe is along in fourth after 3 eighths completion the fifth three-year-old Colton Gelding Trotter in this Ontario Sire Stakes division in the backstretch is disturbed and climbed to claw his way back into it as Grand Sovereign now sixth on the outside and going to flush cover of disturbed well back in seventh was Colom Dream and the gapped off trailer after the early break Crescent Hall. Royal Kent took him past a half in a leisurely minute and four and King's Ransom was not content in the two hole and is already brought out by Trevor Ritchie. King's Ransom up to get the lead from Royal Kent on the final turn. That's disturbed on the outside from third. Eden Meadow Clyde is fourth and Grand Sovereign is back into it. Fifth on the outside. Two more lengths to Ormro Believe from sixth position. Then Crescent Hall who had an early break. Colom Dream rough on the final turn out of contention. King's Ransom, Grand Sovereign coming wide. 130 and 1, three quarter time and into the stretch. In the second Gold Series elimination, King's Ransom is turning it on. Trevor Ritchie has him hitting his best stride through the stretch and he's going well. What a huge comeback for Grand Sovereign. Grand Sovereign comes all the way back from a gate break to be second best. That's King's Ransom in the second Gold Elimination. Grand Sovereign, a miracle comeback for second. Royal Kent stayed third. Eden Meadow Clyde was fourth. King's Ransom, 159 and 1. Six King's Ransom is back to the Mohawk Winner Circle from the second Gold Series elimination. The King Kong three year old Big Gelding from Pepper Pike, owned by Ed Redding of Kitchener, trained by Suzanne Kerwood, driven to victory by Trevor Ritchie. The third win in four starts of this year, equaling his life's mark, 159 and 1, was King's Ransom in the second. In winning, King, King's Ransom returned 740. He's a nice, uh, he's a big colt, uh, good gated, uh, you know, felt kind of lazy actually, uh, but when I asked him to go, he was more than willing. Uh, what was Susie Kerwood able to tell you about him prior to the race? Well, she was a little concerned that he may be a little short because uh, she said he'd been off a little while and she hadn't been able to get as much work into him as uh, she would have liked. Uh, so she asked me to stay on the helmet as long as I could. Uh, but other than that, uh, she said I'd likely like him. She was, she was right. <laughs> Looking back uh, through the race, uh, first of all, the start, were you aware that uh, Grand Sovereign had jumped it off early? Yeah, actually, uh, I wasn't going to leave because uh, Susie had asked me to, to keep him on the helmet as long as I could. Uh, but when the wings folded, he towed me out of there a little bit. Uh, but then when I looked over, I seen uh, Mike's horse running, and uh, it didn't look like they were leaving real hard on the inside, so I just let him float out of there. And uh, on the last turn, you pulled the pocket quite early. Uh, were you that confident in him? Well, with, with, with Mike's horse running, you know, I thought he, uh, like on the program, he looked like he was, uh, uh, you know, the second best horse in the race, and maybe the best, I don't know, but uh, uh, I wanted to give him a chance. There was a horse coming on the outside, and I wanted to make sure I uh, got him out and gave him a chance. And just a quick look ahead to race four tonight. Uh, you'll drive one for the first time there, witness perfection. Uh, what's your approach like when you drive one for the first time? Well, you, you know, you just ask the trainer uh, to, to fill you in as much as he can. And, uh, you know, you read the program and try to map it out as best you can, and then you just go from there. All right. Good luck with him. Thanks, Greg. Trevor Ritchie getting it done here in our second gold elimination, and uh, he'll look for more tonight in race number four. Prior to that, though, third race coming up next. Back up top to Frank.